What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Norm, and I'm back with another DC Universe Online tutorial. This video is going to cover my Earth Tank loadout. Now, once again, before I begin, please note this is not the ultimate loadout, the end all to be all of loadouts. This is a loadout that I'm currently using, and I'm sharing this particularly for those who are switching to Earth and need a tank loadout or those who left the game and get them re-familiarized with Earth tanking. Now, as you can see, this is one avatar. He is an Earth uh, hero staff. He's a staff. And he, on the low side, he's only CR 90. I'm currently working on him right now with skill points and CR. I'll go over my um, artifacts and my augment so you all can see like I said I don't use them very much but now I've gotten into the I uh, got the fever to get him um, up so let's go into my specs okay all right I just switched out some stuff so I haven't gotten the gear mods yet I just switched out legs feet and so forth like that so I'm getting those as well if you have some suggestions for those for tanking let me know my current artifacts Lasso of Truth, Manacles of, For Manacles of Force, Every Man Prototype, which I'm working on getting those up. So I have those artifacts there. If you, if I need to switch any of them out, let me know in the comment section. You all know, you all know I do read your comments. If you have suggestions that help me out um, and that are better, make my loadout and character better, then I definitely use them and I give you a shout out. So thank you for all your tips. I really, really appreciate it. I got another video coming up. Uh, what I'm gonna definitely need uh, you all's help as far as making this that character better, but that's what I'm working with now. Um, Lasso of Truth, Manacles of Force, Every Man Prototype. Uh, I why didn't I do that? Okay, that's tank. Okay, um, let's see here, my augments are on the low side right now. that and let me see here I'm currently using I'm gonna take currently use a dominating and I need to get these up like as you can see I have not been working or this character for some time but I want to focus mainly on the loadout so I know you all gonna give me a hard time about my augment dude the augment suck man the trash you can't even get them up I'm working on it I am working on it people so please be nice about it okay let's go to the loadout current loadout I'm using earth and grip hard light shield epicenter gemstone shield brick golem and fortified golem I don't use a supercharge in this loadout but this is what I'm working with right now so what I would do is first pop my golem and then I would hit, um, while I'm tanking, I would hit Fortify Golem. It will summon, Fortify my Golem, shielding it from damage and restoring power to it over time. And let's see, summon Brick Golem. Brick Golem provides a heal over time to Brick for six seconds. Okay. Personal Hard Light Shield there. Now, what I normally do is this I will go down the routine, ro the, ro the rotation. Now, if you want to start with gemstone shields, fine before you get into the battle because it takes a couple of seconds and you don't want to get hit for free while you're in battle. So if you want to start off with this one, fine. Hit your golem, hit your gemstone shield, hit your fortified golem, and then go into this rotation. You'll do an earth and grip. You'll pull, hard light shield, epicenter, which is another pull. And then you're blocking, waiting for your cooldowns. You hit that again. And then I'm pretty much going until this cools down. I'm going back and forth between Earth and Grip. And I'm epicenter because I'm a tank and I want to draw all the attention to me. So let's get to it. So if I start an enemy, I will hit my Golem. What if I go? And I would. Sorry. Pull hard light shield epicenter and I'm going 
back and forth between the first blocking, recharge, what about golem, epicenter, earth and grip. And all I'm doing blocking, what about golem, earth and grip, epicenter, earth and grip, gemstone shield. I messed that up. But that's what I'm doing. All I want to do is pull the enemy towards me away from my teammate. And this is one of those uh, loadouts that is a blocking loadout. Now I have an atomic loadout, tank loadout. That is a no defense loadout. I love that loadout. It works very well. So, fortify, earth and grip, epicenter, hard light shield, gemstone shield, fortify. I'm going back and forth between earth and grip and epicenter. And I'm blocking, assuming that the enemy will. As soon as he stops the hitting, hitting a pull. Going back that way. I want to keep the enemy to me. Hit Rick Gemstone Shield. And so forth. Alright, let me step away for a second. Now, I do have my henchman. I have my orbit strike. I have my supply drop. And what is this? I have my something new I just added I have my forge thermal matchbook trinket now if you have if you're not familiar with this um, here gemstone shield as you say if you tap it three times it creates additional gems to increase the percentage of absorbed damage the final hit will damage enemies so you're going to hit it you hit X and then I'm going to tap it three times I think square correct so I will go one two three and boom that's the key to it okay now as you can see when I'm blocking I get a, a movement buff and a defensive buff so let's go back so once again he's still fighting okay get my shield All I'm doing going back, waiting for cooldowns. Fortified Golem, Earth and Grip, Epicenter, Earth and Grip, Epicenter, the Gemstone Shield, and I'm blocking for blocking the enemy. So if he finished hitting, I'm just hitting one of those. Keep my shield up, keep my Fort Golem shield up. Wait for my gemstone shield to cool down. Back up. I said, this is one of the easier earth loadouts that I've seen. I'm pretty sure there's some uh, more sophisticated gem, uh, <laughs> loadouts out there, but I like this one because it's really, really easy to use for me. Like I said, you're just going from your first, second, and third, basically your first four powers um, and then once you're, once again, once again, I'm going to, like I said, when I start, before I go into battle, hit my golem, fortify golem, hit my gemstone shield, while I'm waiting for those to cool down, I'll go right to earth and grip, hard light shield, if you want to do that before you start earth and grip, that's fine, but once you get into the rotation, while you're waiting for this and this to cool down, gemstone shield and Fortify goal in the cooldown. I'm hitting Earth and Grip, and I'm doing Epicenter, keeping the enemy towards me, away from my teammates, while they can lay into them, keeping myself course. We assume you have a good troller. If you have a troller on your team, assume you have a good healer. Assume you have a good healer on your team. This is not one of those powers like uh, atomic tanking where you can do a self-healing rotation. This isn't like that. It provides maybe some but nowhere near the effect at least this loadout as the atomic tank and loadout that you've seen in my previous videos okay so once again my loadout earth and grip hard light shield epicenter gemstone shield brick golem and fortify golem so tell me what you think about this any suggestions are welcome any suggestions are appreciated if i got the if i had the wrong um, artifacts let me know um, if you know a better loadout uh, than this loadout for tanking, earth tanking, please leave 
comments in the comment section I appreciate each and every one for watching my videos even if you didn't subscribe thank you for watching my videos and if you uh, left a comment the only thing I ask is that you be constructive be respectful and if you have a better loadout don't trash mine and not give a, another give a uh, solution tell me what you think in the comment section all right I'll let you. Yo, DJ, put a nigga back to the record, baby, and give me this shit right now.